Good evening, I'm Alex Seedy. City Council members approved amendments about building height and neighborhood density at last night's meeting. One amendment removes a language from the document that encourages taller developments in the city's downtown. Another amendment prevents high-density developments in older, single-family neighborhoods near the city's urban core. The new, more thorough master plan will aim to give city administrators a better understanding of desired goals. After ending the needle exchange program last summer, Madison County is in talks with a local group to revive their program. Officials from Madison County's Health Department say a non-for-profit group is negotiating to take over the program that allows IV drug users to exchange used needles for clean ones. The Herald Bulletin reports the group wasn't identified pending a vote by the board. The county council voted last August to prohibit the use of local tax dollars in managing the needle exchange, effectively ending the two-year-old program. And a winter storm may impact central and southern Indiana tonight into Friday, creating difficult travel conditions. A winter storm warning is now in effect from 1 a.m. until 10 p.m. Friday. Forecasters at the National Weather Service say to expect heavy mixed precipitation, creating difficult travel conditions, and the storm is expected to bring in thin ice accumulations followed by one to three inches of sleet and snow. Brown County and Seymour schools are already closed for tomorrow. We'll pass on more delays and closings along as we get them. So if you're out tonight, what you can expect is a low of 29 degrees and rain for the, for the night. Looking ahead, tomorrow expect an icy rain mix in 27 degrees and low 20s going into the weekend, mostly cloudy on Saturday. For more local news, go to WCIUNews.org.